now that we're here Feeling so good About all the things that we went through Knowing that God speaks with us too It's not a dream, this is so true Feeling the peace all around Seeing things we can never imagine Hearing the sound of rivers flow And we know we'll be here forever The feeling is indescribable Knowing that this is our reward Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah ala ni'matil Islam We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making us Muslims I am Onosanya Abdul Hakim and I welcome you to another fantastic episode of iBeauty TV show As usual we will be having three very essential segments Reading for the Ulu Quran, Sayings of the Prophet and also Admonition Sit back and enjoy بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينظرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في الصور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب الرحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني 
آدم ألا تعبد الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم وَلَقَدْ أَضَلَّ مِنْكُمْ جِبِلًّا كَثِيرًا أَفَلَمْ تَكُونُوا تَعْقِلُونَ هَذِهِ جَهَنَّمُ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْعَدُونَ إِصْلَوْهَا الْيَوْمَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigerian Limited. Yo yo beaters, stay purified. On the authority of Uqba bin Amir, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, say, Your Lord delights at a shepherd who, on the peak of a mountain, Greg, gives the call to prayer and prays. Then Allah, glorified and exalted be he, says, Look at this servant of mine. He gives the call to prayer and performs the prayers. He is in awe of me. I have forgiven my servant his sins and have admitted him to paradise. It was related by an nasai with a good chain of authorities. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. From the Prophet, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, who said, A prayer performed by someone who has not recited the essence of the Qur'an during it is deficient, and he repeated the word three times, incomplete. Someone said to Abu Huraira, Even though we are behind the Imam, he said, Recite it to yourself. For I have heard the Prophet, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, say, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, has said, I have divided prayer between myself and my servant into two halves, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. When the servant says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says, My servant has praised me. And when he says, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says, My servant has extolled me. And when he says, Maliki Yawmiddin, Allah says, My servant has glorified me. And on one occasion he said, My servant has submitted to my power. And when he says, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in, he says, This is between me and my servant. And my servant shall have what he has asked for. And when he says, Ahdina sirat al-mustaqim, sirat al-ladhina an-amta alayhim, ghayr al-makhdubi alayhim, waladdalin, he says, This is for my servant. And my servant shall have what he has asked for. It was related by Muslim, also by Malik, At-Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, An-Nasai, and Ibn Malik. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this episode of Daily Islamic Admonitions. Today we'll be looking at the subject of manners. Manners are basically the way we conduct ourselves and how we interact with other people, that is, our social conduct. Every society develops rules and habits of social conduct and good manners. Some of these are universally recognized as good manners 
while some are peculiar to a particular culture or context. Islam places high value on manners, such that the Quran itself contains a number of injunctions and warnings on various aspects of our social behavior and attitudes. There is also an abundance of such references in the hadith or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, where the Prophet taught good manners to his companions, his family, and he instructed them that the best among you are those who are best in manners. This hadith is narrated in Sahih Bukhari. The Prophet peace be upon him also was the best exemplar of this and was reported to have said of his mission, I have been sent to perfect good character. This hadith is narrated in Muatta of Imam Malik. Most of the teachings of Islam on manners have the obvious ethical motivation based on consideration for other people. But more importantly, we try to be good because that is part of submission to God's will. Wallahu alam and Allah knows best. Consumption of unwholesome food can injure your health. Poor eating habit also promotes obesity. Yo-Yo Bitters helps with weight control and ensures a free-flowing circulatory system. Yo-Yo Bitters, available in liquid, gel and caplets. Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo-Yo Bitters, stay purified. The Nigeria and Turkish International Colleges NTIC announces admissions for the 2015-2016 academic session from pre-nursery to senior secondary levels. This is an opportunity for you to enroll your child in one of the best institutions of learning in Nigeria with competent local and foreign teachers dedicated to giving quality education to students in accordance with the Nigerian curriculum. NTIC provides standard day and boarding facilities, well-furnished classrooms, ICT classes, interactive boards, well-equipped laboratories, up-to-date libraries, and much more. Enroll your child today at NTIC, a school where students are nurtured with the best educational tools that guarantee them a bright and successful future. For more information, you can visit any of the NTIC schools nationwide or visit the website at www.ntic.edu.ng or call 0816-535-3032. The Nigerian Turkish International Colleges, the right environment for learning. Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stambik IBTC Bank. Stambik IBTC Bank, moving forward. Welcome back. We are still on IBT TV show and we just had reading from the Holy Quran, sayings of the Prophet and admonition. Up next we have Definition Islam which is brought to you by Islamic Education Trust now our Institute of Nigeria in partnership with Bad Light Media. Afterwards, we'll be having the Adan. So if you are still having your Saul, I advise you rush up. I'll be right back. Assalamu alaikum. You are welcome to another edition of the Definition Islam segment on IBD TV show where we inform, educate, and entertain you. I am Sarah Tafu Salam, and this segment is brought to you by Islamic Education Trust, Dawa Institute of Nigeria, in collaboration with Bright, Bright Light Media. Today, so our Definition Islam segment will be showing you a Definition Islam video of one of the common misconceptions about Islam. I will be asking the question, can Muslims destroy other faiths space of worship? Let's hear what Ustaz Nuruddin Lim has to say about this. I'll be right back. Assalamu alaikum. Are Muslims allowed to destroy churches or synagogues? or other non-Muslim places of worship? The answer to this comes clearly from the Qur'an 
and we see also in the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the fact that right until today, it is actually lands that were dominated by Muslims that still have churches, monasteries, and temples. The Quran says in chapter 2, Surah Al Baqarah, verse 256 let there be no compulsion in religion, that truth stands clear from error. The Quran also says in chapter 18, verse 29. Say, the truth has now come to you from your sustainer. Let then he who wills believe in it, and let he who wills reject it. So the Quran makes it clear that people have a right to practice their faith and a choice of what religion they wish to accept and follow. Islam respects, therefore, the rights of people to have their own faith and to practice their own religious beliefs. In Quran, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse 58, sorry, 48 and 49, Allah makes it clear that had he willed, he would have made all of mankind follow one religion. But he had willed it otherwise, that we would all have our own ways, and he would test us with what he has revealed unto us. That we should compete in the doing of good, that to God is our final return, where we will answer on how we conducted ourselves. Jews and Christians, for example, belong to a group the Quran and the Sunnah refer to as Ahl al-Kitab, people of earlier revelations. These were people who are not treated or regarded as idol worshippers or heathens, but are given the honorary title of Ahl al-Kitab, people of earlier scripture, in recognition that they followed genuine prophets of God. And so even though we may not accept all they, be, all they believe in, as Muslims, it is our responsibility to give them even greater accommodation. And so Muslims are expected and allowed to marry, for example, women from among the Ahl al-Kitab, Jews and Christians, for example, and to eat of the food that they slaughter, as found in Quran chapter 5, verse 5. But critical to this topic is the fact that the Quran recognizes their right to their places of worship and that this right must be respected. The Quran prohibits in Surah Al-Hajj that anyone should destroy monasteries, churches, synagogues, or mosques. In fact, the protection of these places along with mosques are all in the same verse. In Surah Al-Hajj in chapter 22, verse 38 to 40, the Quran says that permission to fight is given to those who have been oppressed. And the rest of the verse carries on and says, For had God not allowed men to repel other men, all monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, wherein the name of God is often mentioned, would certainly have been destroyed. According to Muslim historians, this was the verse that first gave permission for Muslims to actually fight to defend the protection of places of worship. And it is in this verse that Allah puts together the defense of monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques. A great Islamic scholar, Ibn Hazm, holds, based on this verse, that Muslims are even required to fight, if necessary, in order to defend these non-Muslim places of worship from being destroyed. So far from any Muslim looking at a permission to destroy churches, synagogues, monasteries, etc., the Quran requires us to protect these as part of its general protection of faith and the right of people to follow their own respective faith. There is no compulsion in religion, as the Quran mentions. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. That was an enlightening one from Ustaz Nuruddin Bey. We were saying that the Quran has said there is no compulsion in religion. Everyone has a right to perform their own kind of religion. Up next on this segment is Islamic Applications and Gadgets Review. And today I'll be unveiling 
the Islamic wallpapers application. This application has very beautiful and nice Islamic wallpapers that are available in HD quality. You can also zoom in and zoom out of the picture depending on the quality of picture you want. This application is available on our website. You can download through our website by logging on to www.definitionislam.com. You shall like it, inshallah. Lastly on this segment is leaving you with some trending Islamic pictures across the internet. I have this one about uh, the meaning of Ramadan saying, remember Allah always morning and afternoon, day and night. Mashallah. I have another one about uh, a little girl of two years thereabouts, uh, thereabouts, praying and seriously concentrating. Mashallah. I have another one here that is telling us that Ramadan is about losing sins rather than shedding weight. So we fast to lose weight, to lose our sins and not shed weight. Alhamdulillah, I've come to where uh, I'm about to leave. But let me remind you that you can always catch up on all we've shared with you on this segment by simply logging onto our website www.definitionislam.com It will be a pleasant experience for you, inshallah. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On behalf of myself and the entire Definition Islam crew, Masalam, IBT TV should continue shortly. woman is a woman who runs through her monthly period without stress or pains and a happy man is a man whose wife takes yo-yo bitters <laughs> happiness, happiness in a home, home is a function of understanding yo-yo bitters available in liquid gel and couplets ramadan karim from ablat nigeria limited yo-yo bitters stay purified Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, 
ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited Yoyo Beaters Stay Purified Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stanbic IBTC Bank. Stanbic IBTC Bank. Moving forward. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم إلا يوم الدين أما بعد All praises to Allah, the Lord of the world, and may His peace and blessings be upon the noblest of mankind, His Rasul Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. his household, his companions, and all those who follow his way until the very last day and thereafter. My name is Sayyidah Ojulari and you're on to Be Blessed on Echo 89.7 FM and on the iBeauty Ramadan show. On Be Blessed, we learn the deen together from the two pure sources, the Quran and the Sunnah. And we try to encourage ourselves because it is not an easy path to get to Jannah, which is our prayer that you and I and our progenies shall be among those inhabitants of paradise. And to do this, inshallah, we try to encourage ourselves to learn more about the deen and more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we may be among those. Now, as we always do, we're going to start the show off with the translation from the Noble Quran. Bismillah. Now remember that you need to ponder upon the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to pass across and take them truly and try to make sure that your heart is listening and not just your ears. So we're going to go straight to the translation and thereafter the show will continue. Bismillah. Daily Quran Reminder Reading from Surah Al-Baqarah Chapter 2 Verses 183-186 to In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you, as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may become righteous. For a specified number of days, but whoever among you is sick or on a journey, then a number of other days. For those who are able, a ransom of feeding a needy person. But whoever volunteers goodness, it is better for him. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed, guidance for humanity, and clear portents of guidance and a criterion. Whoever of you witnesses the month shall fast it, but whoever is sick or on a journey, then a number of other days. Allah desires ease for you and does not desire hardship for you, that you may complete the number and celebrate Allah for having guided you so that you may be thankful. And when my servants ask you about me, I am near. I answer the call of the caller when it calls on me. So let them answer me and have faith in me that they may be rightly guided. Truth are the words of Allah. If you are just tuning in, you are on to Be Blessed on Echo 89.7 FM and on the IBT Ramadan show. Now we've just come back from the Quran translation and today's verse was from chapter 2, Al-Baqarah, verses 183 to 186 in which Allah SWT is talking about 
fasting. Now, mashallah, we are in the month of Ramadan, so this verse speaks to us most especially in this month of Ramadan. And Allah SWT tells us that fasting has been prescribed for us as it as it was for the people before us. Now, we understand that fasting is not something that started with the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Many Prophets before him have done this. Many people before him have done this. And Allah SWT is trying to emphasize that Fasting is something that we need to take very seriously and treat dearly. And while you're fasting, you need to keep it at the back of your mind that yeah, this is a order from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and we need to try our best to make sure that we fulfill its rights. We make sure that we are kind. We do not swear. We do not say hateful words, and we do not treat others with disdain while we are fasting. We do know of the. Um, the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said, if someone angers you while you are fasting, you say, Inni sa'imun, I am fasting. And you repeat this as many times as you might need to. So we need to remember that. And also in this verse, Allah SWT talks about those who might find it difficult to fast. Now, if you find it difficult to fast, maybe because you're old or you're sick, Allah SWT has made it easy for you. You can pay the fidaya, which is basically feeding a poor person for every day that you have missed. Now Allah does not want to stress us, He is merciful and He accepts even this from us. So if you're unable to fast, if your old mother or father is unable to fast, make sure that you're doing everything you can to make it possible for them to pay this back by feeding a poor person. And Allah SWT will accept it from us, inshallah. Now quickly, we're going to learn a dua and straight afterwards go to our spoken word. Dua immediately after starting Salah. Allahumma ba'id bayni wa bayna khatayaya kama ba'idta bayna al-mashriq wa al-maghrib. Allahumma naqini min al-khataya kama yunaq al-thawb al-abiyad min al-danas. Allahumma ghsil khatayaya bil-ma'i wa thalj wa al-barad. Allahumma ba'id bayni wa bayna khatayaya kama ba'idta bayna al-mashriq wa al-maghrib. Allahumma naqini min al-khataya kama yunaq al-thawb al-abiyad min al-danas. Allahumma ghsil khatayaya bil-ma'i wa thalj wa al-barad. O Allah, distance me from my sins as you have distanced the east from the west. O oh Allah, cleanse me from sins as white clothing is cleansed of dirt. O oh Allah, wash away my sins with water, snow and hail. <laughs> Close your eyes and imagine this, eternal bliss, your every wish at your fingertips, and more. Perched on a throne near a stream, so serene and exquisite a scene you've never seen, yet you still dream of more. Gone is pain, gone is fear, gone is grief, gone are tears, idle speech you shall never hear, and the prophets make up your social sphere, and more. The martyrs righteous and the truthful too. You are from them and they from you. They held tightly to what they knew was true. And to join them, you did too. There's more. Maidens chased to restrain their gaze. Lost in a glance for days and days. Fun and frolic as a child plays. Where the breath that leaves your lips is praise. Of the one who gave you more. Imagine you and your father with ages the same. Imagine showing off your book with no shame. Imagine nights with the Sahaba, their stories to entertain. Imagine Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knowing your name. What could be there more? Gardens underneath which rivers flow. A goal so far and yet so close. A journey worth taking for those who know. Tell me, do you not wish to go for more? For all the bounties and all the grace all the sights and the smells and the tastes will be forgotten without a trace as if frozen in time and space when you see his face what an excellent master of a miserable slave you forgot and he forgave he gave you guidance and you still strayed you asked for mercy that he gave and more and more and more
Welcome back. As always, we always intend to inspire you with the spoken words, and we do pray that for Eastern Light you have been inspired. That much said, this is how far we can come on this segment. We will be signing off with one more thing from Know Your History. Did you know that the first medical equipment was done by a Muslim, was created by a Muslim, the very first medical tool. And his name was Abu al Qasim Khalaf ibn al Abbas al Zahrawi. And of course, that's how far we can go on the show. Let's take this discussion further on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash bless 0 Follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at bless 0 Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Being a Muslim is the greatest mark of my life, a total way of life I love so much. I won't trade anything for it. Keeping up with the demands of my faith is something I take very seriously, and I'm glad to have an ally that makes it quite easy for me. Beitu Zina. Beitu Zina is an Islamic lifestyle hub, a one-stop shop for everything Islamic. From spiritual and uplifting books to modest clothing for men, women, and children, headwear and scarves, Islamic artifacts and fragrances, gift items for all occasions, audio visuals, health care and beauty products, Hajj and Umrah kit, and so much more. Step into a Beitu Zina outlet today or shop online from the comfort of your space with delivery of goods right to your doorstep. Wow! Beitu Zina. A true home of Islamic beauty and splendor. Beitu Zina, your one-stop shop for all that is Islamic. Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stambik IBTC Bank. Stambik IBTC Bank. Moving forward. You're tuned in to another beautiful edition of iBeauty on the Street. I am your host, Abdul Latif Sani. I'm sure by now everyone is engulfed with the spirit of this blessed month Ramadan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds from us as an act of worship. Amen. As always, inshallah, today we'll be asking another very simple question. And today's question is What is the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran? What is the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran? The shortest chapter is Suratul um, Suratul uh, Al Class. How many verses? F four verses. I think. Uh, what is the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran? Uh, where is the uh, Kulia Allah of How many verses are there? I think it's about uh, four or five verses. Shortest chapter is Suratul Inna Taina Kalikozara. Okay. Oh, Zara. okay, how many verses? Just three verses. The shortest chapter in the Inca. Yes. Oh, uh, so that is uh, a class. How many verses? How many verses? A class. That's, eh? ah, I don't, uh, I don't even uh, show of it. I don't want to say. I don't think I know much about Quran, but I think it's in Athena. How many verses? Ah. <laughs> Can I calculate that? I'm not sure of that. I don't know. But since it's the shortest, you should know the number. Yeah, I can say it's not to do that. Just the number, how many? I don't think I know the number, like seriously. Okay, now, what is the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran? Uh, al Fatiha. How many verses? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> exactly, no, okay. Oh, uh, what is the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran? Uh, in the Quran? In the Quran. The first or the chapter? Chapter. Ah, uh, Suratul Nisa. Nisa. How many verses? Ah, uh, three. Suratul Nisa. Yeah. Can you say the verse for us? Can you say the chapter for us? No. Can you say the chapter? No. Just three verses, right? Yeah. 
the shortest verse of the glorious Quran is uh, Surah to Kausal. How many verses? Uh, it's three verses. And that is all we can take on today's edition of iBeauty on the Street. We hope you have learned, and if you knew before, you've been reminded that the shortest chapter of the glorious Quran is Surah al Kawthar, and it contains just three verses. Till I come your way, same time, same station, don't forget, maximize the benefit in this blessed month of Ramadan. I remain your sincere in Islam, Abdul Latif Sanin. Salaamu Alaikum. The environment is everything to your personal health and safety. When your working or living environment poisons your body system, your life may be at risk. Yo-Yo Bitters flushes away body toxins through the blood circulatory system. The result? A clean body with a clear mind. Yo-Yo Bitters, available in liquid, gel and caplets. Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo-Yo Bitters. Stay purified. Alhamdulillah, Hirobli Alameen. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for seeing us to this part of the show. It's funny how time flies as we are gradually getting to the end of today's show. If you're just tuning in, we've had various interesting segments. We've had reading from the Ulu Quran, sayings of the Prophet, definition of Islam, I beat on the street, and lots more. A very big thank you from all members of the IBT TV crew to our sponsors, we see this Akumla Khairan. And to you, our viewers, may Allah bless you the more. I remain on Nose Abdul Hakim and I leave you with I Rhymes. Salaamu Alaikum.
fast and convenient way to buy a car? A bike? How about a bus? Or maybe a truck? Or do you want to sell your vehicle, insure your car, or get that car loan you always wanted? Log on to www.checky.com.ng on your mobile phone, tablet, or computer and search for that car you want to buy or put up that car you want to sell fast. Checky.com.ng is Nigeria's biggest online car marketplace. Zero sweat, zero ahala. Checky.com.ng, Nigeria's number one car website. Sound sleep at night? Good. That's nature's prescription. But when the hustle and bustle of daily life catches up with you, stress becomes your regular companion. And good sleep? Forget it. Yo-Yo Beaters promotes sound sleep and a stress-free life. Yo-Yo Beaters, available in liquid, gel, and caplets. Ramadan Karim from Ablat Nigeria Limited. Yo-Yo Beaters, stay purified. I 
how amazing it feels to love you I wish that everyone could see How your love has set me free Set me free and made me strong Enjoy the fruits of your devotion to Allah and stay true to his teachings with the Iman account from Stambik IBTC Bank. Stambik IBTC Bank. Moving forward. He was born in Arabia, father already dead, mother died when he was young But little did they know, their orphan son would grow one day to be the chosen one So he grew under the tutelage of his uncle One day when they were traveling, was spotted by a monk The monk recognized that he was prophesied He looked into his eyes, he saw in him the signs And this was not astrology, see, in Deuteronomy So his personality was quick to gain autonomy Grown to be known as honest and strong, trustworthy, everybody loved him like they loved their own family and happily at 25, he married Khadija, a woman who would stand by his side. And as the days flew by, questions arise about how his people was living their lives. Paganistic, ritualistic, so this caused him to meditate about his existence. In many instances, he would retreat to a cave just to contemplate. Well, at age 40, cave was the scene. Angel appears, tells him to read. Read? What shall I read? Never was a literary once to tell me what do you mean? The same star gaze right down at Rasulullah. They saw him climb down from here. Now a prophet, a messenger, and in the skies was Angel Jibreel. He said, Oh Muhammad, Oh Rasulullah, Muhammad is and always will be the last and final prophet of Allah. He was a mercy unto the universe, peace and blessings be on Al Mustafa. Fled the home and told his wife and such Was scared to death, he thought his mind was touched Possessed, but she relieved the stress And confirmed that indeed he was a prophet And it was then he regained his consciousness Realized what had happened, no time to rest Arise and mourn, call everybody and warn The religion of Islam reborn Now the first test was his family and friends Lend me your ear, oh people I have known for years You have trusted me with your life possessions I come to you now with the holy directive, a better direction Away from the sin, the worship of false idols Mistreating your women, and no human Can ever be judged by the color of the skin Instead what he or she does This is the belief that I bring to you cause I ask nothing for it but the worship and love of the creator The maker, the merciful, the savior Submit your desires and you will gain his favor Well can you guess what their answer was? Most of his fans simply laughed it off Told him he was crazy and they cast him off Took him as a joke, all they did was scoff But a few returned to the truth and then another few, and soon another few And soon, before his family knew it, he had a follow When their laughs turned to frown, so they really couldn't swallow This threat to a power structure so corrupt All he wanted was to love his brothers In return, there was torture, they would make him suffer Many died, but they couldn't stop a lost cutter So he would rise Muhammad, peace be upon his soul 
peace be upon his soul. Invited to Medina, he saw he was the leader Protection they would lend him, and he would be their teacher The brotherhood would grow, his enemies would fold The Muslims were outnumbered, only fearlessness they showed Time has come to go back home And this possession had a strength to wipe out his foes See, they had tortured him and plotted on his death Yet he spared them and chose no bloodshed Cause he was so compassionate All he wanted was the people to acknowledge that Submission will wipe out sins They're giving charity and honoring your mother wins The righteous deeds will be the key The salvation of the soul and we could be happy And he will go down in history As the greatest of all time He sends him peace that king In Mount Hira To the holy city Of Medina Life and death, he showed his land, opened our hearts to the wealth of the man. So, oh Allah, hear my dua, keep me as part of the Prophet's Muhammad is and always will be the last and final prophet of the as a mercy unto the universe, peace and blessings beyond a most of